Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing eight mistakes that you should avoid at all costs when writing your UC personal insight questions. Make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing my best tip with you at the very end and I'm also going to be sharing a link to a free training that you could attend so that you can find more college admission strategies that help hundreds of my students get accepted. And click the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when I release a new video about college essays, admission, volunteering, summer programs, anything related to college admissions. So, if you didn't know, I actually attended UCLA for about a year and then I decided to transfer to University of Southern California, not because I don't like UCLA or anything like that, <laughs> but it's just that at the time, or even now, UCLA doesn't offer uh, business degrees to undergraduate students. And so I transferred to USC to study just that. So I know quite a bit when it comes to UC applications and UC essays. And in addition to me getting accepted, I helped hundreds of my students get accepted into their dream UC schools, UC Berkeley, UCLA, all the UCs. Mistake number one. Repeating your accomplishments over and over again. Students try to mention their accomplishments in all four of the personal insight questions. There's no need for you to talk about how you won your competition or that you worked on a research project with a professor more than once. Keep in mind, you only have 350 words per question, so you really want to utilize the space wisely. Mistake number two. Complaining about your circumstances. Life is hard. Even for a teenager, even for a high school student, I know it's hard. I've been there. You have family issues, friend issues, peer pressure, societal standards, you name it. It's important to talk about your setbacks and hardships, but not in a way that sounds like you're complaining. This mindset shows that you didn't just give up or you didn't just complain about your circumstances, but you wanted to grow. You wanted to be more mature. You wanted to learn from the mistakes. And that shows a growth mindset. Mistake number three, focusing way too much on storytelling. Unlike the common application essay, you see personal insight questions are only 350 words per prompt. That is very short. So make sure that you're not wasting that space talking about a story, t setting the scene, describing the character, telling us about the climax and the conclusion. Just summarize it just so that you get the point across and then you want to focus on the values and the qualities that you want to demonstrate. Mistake number four, not addressing your future at all. I know that most of the essays, the essays that you write for colleges are intended for you to share your past story and your life thus far. But you also want to make sure that you're sharing your future goals, your future dreams, your future career, and let them know that you are ready, that you are independent, that you are mature, and that you're smart. At the end of the day, colleges are looking for students who have potential. Mistake number five, choosing a prompt because it's easier to answer. I know in high school we are taught that we should be choosing a prompt that we can actually answer to its fullest capacity. However, with these UC personal insight questions, you want to select four that will best represent your values and qualities. Even if that's picking a prompt that seems sort of uncomfortable to answer or the ones that you feel like you have no idea where to begin. Mistake number six. Too much emphasis on empathy and kindness. I'm a huge advocate of talking about empathy, compassion, kindness in a lot of my students' essays. However, after working through thousands of these UC essays, I realized that yes, empathy and kindness is important and you should be addressing them, but not 
too excessively. You see schools focus a lot on rigor, whether you are independent or you are able to solve a problem with the given amount of resources and much more. And so you want to focus on that rigor and competitiveness and that you're ready to learn while balancing out the kindness and empathy component as well. Mistake number seven, trying too hard to be unique or creative. This is an advice that I use for all of my essay tips and strategies and don't try too hard to be creative. The reason for that is because the purpose of writing these essays is to show who you are and what potential you have. And so yes, a little bit of creativity here and there is fine, but you don't want to spend so much of your energy and space trying to be creative or too emotional because that's not the reason why they want to read about your essay. If you do want to add in a creative element or you want to add something unique or catchy, I usually advise my students to spend about 5-7% to of your total door count doing that. Mistake number 8, our last one for today. Not repurposing your common application or supplemental essays. So here's what you can do. The common application essay that you wrote, you can repurpose that and use it for one of your UC personal insight questions. So usually the common application essay or supplemental essays, the word count is about 350, 500, around there. And so what you can do is use that and condense it so that it fits into the personal insight questions for UC applications. Obviously, you want to make sure that you don't lose any meaning or the values that you try to demonstrate in your common application essay, and all of those qualities are directly transferred into your UC personal insight questions as well. That's it, you guys. You have the eight mistakes that you should never, ever make when you're writing your UC personal insight questions. Also, if you want to learn more about college admission strategies and tips, I have a free training on that and the link is down below. Also, if you want to join a community of students and parents just like you preparing for the college admission process, I have an awesome Facebook group called Conquer College Admissions where I host live videos, uh, share strategies and updated news on college admissions and so much more. So be sure to click on the link below. Our Facebook group is Conquer College Admissions and I'll see you in there. If you like this video on UC personal insight questions and all the mistakes that you should be avoiding, please click like below and leave a comment letting me know which prompt you are going to start working on right now at this moment. As always, I'll be back with a new video on college admissions and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye everyone!